Namaste beautiful brothers and sisters. I've got the sparkly filter on today. So um, how's it all going? I hope that someone comes and joins me on this live. Um, I'm just going to make sure that it's all public and it's not, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's public. Amazing. So we'll just wait. Let me see if I can share it. Uh, share it to Quantum Prosperity Codes. Um, hello, Lorem. So yeah, say hello when you jump on the call and let me know like that you're here. And, um... So basically, the reason why I'm making this call, um, this uh, video, is because I want to let everyone know, hello Jessica, about the significance of the Ancestors Ceremony. So in, uh, so it's two o'clock now, so in six hours, eight minutes, I'm going to be facilitating a ceremony. And it's really the intention is to support the Twin Flames. And we're going to be working a lot. Hello, Yukari. We're going to be working a lot with the Sacral Chakra. We're going to be clearing a lot of trauma imprints from the Sacral Chakra. I basically was shown a vision a few nights ago. And I was shown that there is this trajectory of the Twins coming together. Um, but we do have to work with these Scorpio energies just to do some clearing, collective clearing with the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra needs to go through an upgrade. And um, in order for it to go through an upgrade, we need to release. We need to do a atonement protocol to clear the trauma strands out of the um, sacral chakra. So this is deeply related to... Um, our ancestral lineage because for many of us we are born into lineages where we where our, our mothers and our grandmothers have been abused so a lot of us get these imprints like when we're actually in our mother's and grandmother's womb we get all these imprints of of like abuse and trauma and so what my team showed me is that these energies are keeping twins vibrationally in separation so it's really, really important that we do this, that we do this absolutely amazing work to clear the sacral chakra, to clear the um, the trauma imprints and so that they're not passed on generationally to our daughters and our granddaughters and all the divine feminines that are going to be uh, incarnating in the in the years to come. So very, very powerful. It's not going to be, it's going to be like a therapy session, like, like how the 1010 was, like the 1010, it was literally like a really, really powerful, exclusive therapy session. And that's what it will be today. So um, absolutely loads of you have booked on so far. So that's amazing. And I know that loads more of you will book on. And I think it's really, really important that we address this kind of like Halloween narrative. And, you know, we all know that this time notoriously has been the worst time for sacrifices and stuff like that. And so it's very, very important that we, the ground crew, come together to counterbalance all those nefarious intentions and the nefarious narrative that is being perpetuated at this time. And so by us coming together and um, working with the angelic realm, working with the ascended masters, working with the galactics, working with the elemental beings, we are counterbalancing this horrendous narrative I would love to know if you're using Snapchat to go live, and if so, how? No, I'm using Facebook Live. Oh, wow, this is exactly what I'm being guided to, Jen. Sacral chakra and ancestral clearing. Yeah, that, that's, this is it. And um, so my team showed me this trajectory of these twins, and it's connected to the 1111 portal. It's connected to the winter solstice. We all know that these very, very significant numerological portal points are connected to twin flame recognition and reunion because of the heightened energy at these times. So I was shown this trajectory of many, many twins coming together, and we're, we're doing all this preparation and it's like this is a marathon not a sprint and so when we come together with our twin like we have to have done a lot of the um restoration soul retrieval work because if we don't we will end up creating subconscious uh, projections onto our twin and we will push them away with the fact that we haven't resolved our own psychosis we haven't resolved our own psychology and so all the work that I'm doing is very 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 deep and it's very very deep 
preparation work so that when you do come into alignment with your twin, you're actually going to be able to come into harmony because you've resolved your, your, your trauma templates, you know, and that's what it's all about. Because if you don't resolve your trauma templates, then they exist as an unconscious patterning and then you get triggered and then you think, oh my God, that person did that to me, but if that person didn't, or, or there was an agreement that that person would trigger you in order for you to witness your unconscious patterning in order for you to access the first time that you experienced that and made it a psychological block, an emotional block, which then created a timeline based upon lack. So we, we need to collapse those timelines through this work. And then once all those trauma timelines have collapsed then there's no interference with our union timeline and that's what this work is all about like my job is to prepare us whoever is vibrationally drawn to work with me is to really really prepare us for these unions and that is very very deep preparation so if you think about it most of us have incarnated in in this lifetime and we've had unenlightened parents unenlightened society everything's just been a complete and uh like it's just been flipped inverted like this is an inverted matrix and so this has really affected our our, our evolution do you know what i mean and so, like all of us, unless we do this work, we're all going to be um, experiencing... Excuse me, brother and sister, I've got to get my water. Where's my water? Oh, it's not here. But anyway, all of us are experiencing... Um, well, well, we need to resolve it. You can't just, like, you know, find yourself in a twin flame relationship. If you haven't done the inner work, like, it's just not going to happen. So all the work that we do is preparation. It's preparation. It's the inner work that will prepare you so that you're not going to push your beloved away when they trigger you. You're going to rejoice when they trigger you. You're going to understand it's an opportunity for you to practice saying no and setting your boundaries and really, really coming from... From that place of self-love so that that's the job and it's like my job I'm a spiritual coach I'm a relationship coach I'm a wealth coach I'm a general spiritual coach and and so you come and you train with me I, I help you get your spiritual muscle at like the next level because I'm a spiritual heavyweight and so I train everyone to become spiritual heavyweights and and that's the thing about the mentors that we choose to work with there's many different mentors and everyone's aligned with certain mentors do you know what I mean but I definitely am in the spiritual heavyweight ranks and so by working with me there's like no stone will get left unturned like there'll be no spiritual bypassing there will be full full preparation so back to the analogy when we incarnate the garden of our heart is in a complete and utter state there are weeds everywhere there is shadows everywhere there is mess and clutter everywhere we need to get in there and we need to pull out the weeds the weeds are representative of the false beliefs the limited pro programming the the programming that we've inherited from our parents but who were not enlightened hello tina cox and so that's what the limited beliefs are and so our mission is to sort out the garden of our heart we need to pull out all these weeds so that we can plant those beautiful rose bushes those beautiful lily bushes those beautiful like oak trees and stuff like that but you can't plant them until you pull out all the weeds you know so the work that we're doing is is preparing it's preparation work yeah it's not sexy yeah it's real it's very very authentic the work that we do but it's preparing you it's preparing you brothers and sisters for be to be in your union it's preparing you to be a spiritual heavyweight it's preparing you to come to the vibration of stabilized self-love so that you are actualized with your self-love codes so when your divine partner comes into your field they're going to be like holy shit man this goddess loves herself i need to level up because this woman loves herself and she knows how to say no she knows me how she knows how to tell me to f off if i'm not coming with devotion to her so I, i've got to do the work so we do the work then and that creates the timeline and the the vibration with which we attract our beloved on so this is very very deep groundwork brothers and sisters you can't build a spectacular building on 
on clutter, on on a like dodgy foundation. The work that we do is we we do the foundation work, brothers and sisters. This is the foundation work for our union. So that when our beloved comes into our field, we are at a level of spiritual mastery within our own self so that we can guide the divine masculine home. Like for the most part, those of us that are carrying the feminine polarity, we are the spiritual leaders in our partnerships. And so we will have done the work, we will have done the work to um, restore all our self-love codes, retrieve all our traumatised child aspects, um, like, like totally transcend all the lack programming and really truly arrive home at the zero point field where there's no searching, no seeking. There is just showing up in duty, on ser in service for God. Like that's all it is. Um, and so when we get to that level of stability, then when our divine masculine comes into our field, they're able to level up very, very, very quickly because we have activated the mastery codes within us. That's what it's all about. So that we don't push our union away. Like we are ready to roll our sleeves up and get in there and do the work. Like that is what it's all about. Like we have a big mission. We've, we're coming out of the age of darkness and we're going into the age of light. And so we have a big, big like ground crew cleanup operation to do with the limited beliefs. So that's what all of the work in the transmissions and the after parties is all about, brothers and sisters. So um, I'll post the link to book onto the transmission. Very, very important because also it's like, you know, we can do it on our own, but it's exponentially uh, empowered when we do it in a group, when we're all holding space for each other's healing and transformation. So I'll post the link. And then, so we'll do the transmission and that'll be amazing. That'll be a massive healing for everyone. And it will be a really, really deep um, sacral chakra healing for everyone. Um, and then in the after party, I think we're going to talk about um, like more, go deeper into sexuality healing and what that really looks like. And, and I'll share with you my journey with my own sexuality and how I've reached, um, like I feel like I've reached a very, very pure level um, with in my own sexuality considering I've come from a family where there's been loads and loads of abuse and so there was like loads and loads of fear shame uh guilt um secrecy all around like sexuality that I've had to uh work with and I've had to like find my own truth amongst all of the forest of confusion around sexuality so I'm, I'll share with everyone like like you know my story um and how i've arrived at that point i invited to stay transmission one lady i met on instagram oh that's amazing you i love you so much you looking forward to the transmission so excited 1010 was massive yeah 1010 was massive for everyone I literally had so many emails saying, Jen, my life is forever changed. You will never, ever know like quite how powerful that that um, transmission was. And it was. And it so it showed me like the, where we're going with transmissions and we are going to be doing much more kind of like emotional healing. <laughs> I love you, look, you carry. So anyway, share this video, brothers and sisters. No one shared it. Let's share it. Let's get this vibration out there. And um, I'll share it onto the event is happening. Also, I've got some really exciting um, announcements for the community that I'm going to share with you all. Um, everyone that comes to the transmission. I've got some really, really exciting um, things. And, make, you know, opportunities to work with me, basically. Um, I've shared it. When is this? Will it be recorded? Okay, so the transmission starts. So it's two o'clock. It's now 12 minutes past two in the UK. That means that the transmission starts in just under six hours. So I'll just write that down in my uh, transmission starts in six. So I'm just sharing this now, brothers and sisters, to the um, event is happening here is the link to book. Oh, I should put the after party as well. Okay, well, I'll do that as well, actually. 
so excited gem for the transmission tonight yeah me too shared my dear oh hello galactic greg oh guys i'm going to be doing a podcast with galactic greg and leia and robin at 4 p.m uk time on monday so we're going to be um we're going to be on galactic greg's youtube channel so i'll post the link but please come and join us. It's going to be amazing. I've been really, really excited about connecting with um, with Galactic Greg. And obviously, I've been working very closely with Leia. been getting to know Robin. It's going to be amazing. So I'm um, just posting all of the, the correct links. Yay, give us the link. Okay, I'll give you the link, guys. Um... I'll give you the link. What I'll do is I'm going to post it now into the. Um, <laughs> into the thread. Right. Roxy. Roxy says you are dope spiritual goddess on steroids. I started to retrieve myself on the 1010 and it keeps on happening, especially on the dream time since I tuned to you. Infinitely grateful. I'm learning self-respect and love. Woohoo. <laughs> Come on, every, come on over, everyone. It'll be an amazing connection. Absolutely. Won't it be an amazing connection? It absolutely will be, Greg. So, um, here's a link to book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. And everyone's going to come. Everyone's going to share it. <laughs> I'm very grateful to you too, um, Hazel, darling. I literally, I am absolutely beautiful like you sending you love sending you love so yeah got some really exciting announcements to share with everyone um here we go i've posted the link guys share the link um right i'm going to do a competition whoever shares this video will get a free entrance to the after party please share this video and i'm going to pick so i'm going to pick one person from yesterday um, who shared the, the live that I did with Ang Harad, which was absolutely amazing, life-changing. It was life-changing for me. You've got to go and check it out. Um, and so I'm going to choose one person who shared it. Thank you, Elena. And I'm going to choose one person who shares this video. And you are going to get a um, thingy, um, an invitation to join the after party with me. Okay. So, that's cool. New to your work, need it be attended live. It's very, very powerful for it to be attended live, um, Patricia. But there are many people that sign up that can't do it live. So, it's just as powerful. People have just as a powerful experience on the replay as they do live. So... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this video. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Um, we're going to, everyone that's booked, you really got to check your email because I had a few issues with my link for the, for the PDF, but my beautiful assistant, Laura, she is now sending the correct link to everyone that has booked. So please be sure to check your emails. And if you've got any issues with getting onto the transmission, Please email my beautiful, glamorous, divine assistant, Gurpreet. You will find her at the following email address, info at jenmccarty.co.uk. Do not email me at te 10 past 8 saying, Jen, I can't get on to the transmission because I will be live. I will not be able to respond to your email. Gurpreet, on the other hand, will be on it. She'll be on it. She'll be like checking emails, sending you the correct link. Like, so you just have to like email info at Jen McCarty and Gurpreet will sort you out. Um, so I'm going to save all the rest of my announcements till the transmission. Yes, I got the email. All good. I'm ready. Elena's ready. That's really good. And I'm going to save all the rest of my announcements till the transmission. So I'm going to prepare now with the, the clocks have gone forward. You're a gift to humanity, Jen. Thank you for all you do. Looking forward to connecting. So are you, Greg. And I am absolutely looking forward to connecting. It's going to be next level alchemy between the brothers and sisters. 
and we'll do some good promoting for that tomorrow to let everyone know and i'll let everyone know on the transmission tonight and i hope that you can join us greg to come and do this sacral chakra clearing the more divine masculines the better because it can't just be the divine feminines that are doing all the work we have to do the the men have to do it as well and um it's it's huge oh incredible oh we've just had a very interesting uh link from catrona is it catrona catriona let's kick ass from let's do it let's let's ka kick ass all right guys so that's my message archie bear do you want to come and say hello to everyone come on come on come here little bear right archie just wants to say hello and goodbye to the fans oh my good god there you know. There you know, baby. Look, look, they're all there. They're all there. Look. Look. Archie. Look. There you know. Anyway, well, that's for me and Archie Bear. Indeed, men need to step up. Yes. Oh, look at these cuddles. He gives me the best cuddles. This dog. Comfy. <laughs> Say hi to Greg. Oh, tongues in mouth. We don't do tongues in mouth, Archie Bear. Anyway, so me and Archie, we're going to prepare. Archie's going to be doing a lot of preparation in the high dimensional realms as he holds space. Um, I'll do the preparation work on the 3D level. Divine Masculines will kick ass for sure. He's a little angel. Yes, he is. Um, look at him. He, he's so funny. He's so funny. He's so funny. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> at least there's no foxes in the garden, guys. That's an absolute nightmare. Anyway, well, for me and all my sparkles and my divine protector, Archie Bear... I'll give you lots of big, big hugs, everyone. And thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. And uh, I'll see you all in a few hours. So whoever shares this video, I'm going to put you in the competition to win a space on the after party. Okie dokie. Okay, guys. So namaste. I love you all. God bless us all.